Okay, guys, in this video, we're gonna design our footer section, and I think it's gonna be fun for you to do that. The part of our website is called the footer section, okay? And we're gonna work with the customizer of the WordPress mainly in that lesson. Let's go first to our WordPress dashboard go to dashboard oh before we go i didn't save actually what i did so uh it's nice to have this message every now and then so i'm gonna stay and save and now let's go to our dashboard from here now we're going to our home page we're gonna customize our footer section now we remember what we did before we start our designing we worked on the main part now we have footer and we have header and all that. And what we did for the home page, we're gonna do that for each and every page we're working on, okay? So we have the footer section. We're gonna enable that part, which is display footer widgets area. So we need to display those uh, widgets and we're gonna put them in our footer section by now. And then we have the copyright. You can enable that if you would like and you can even disable or leave it as it is on default. And that's it for the footer section. And now we can update that to our page. Remember to save that or update what you did to your website. And then we can go and either visit our website or view page from here, okay? So let's go ahead and start viewing our page. And then we have our website. We can edit with Elementor from here or either customize. And for those of you guys who never worked before on WordPress or never started designing before on the customizer of the theme this is actually the regular way we design our websites through wordpress and this is the new stuff the page builders and maybe it's not that new because there are so other many page builders since a while but this page builder is a new relatively maybe a year ago started to be used and i think it's one of the amazing tools for building a website and we can go ahead and press on customize so we can get an idea of how to customize our website through that customizer and it's actually so easy to use the customizer and it's so easy to design your website so basically if you want to work on your menus you're gonna hit that site identity which is your logo and your website name you're gonna enter that okay and now we're gonna work on our widgets so we have the widgets in here then we have our footer widgets we're gonna work on that after we start by adding our widgets to the footer area so we're gonna press on here um by the way guys i'm gonna go back to our uh, main menu will be changing this menu will be changing according to your theme okay some themes have a shorter options and others have uh, more options so ocean wb theme is one of the amazing themes that's compatible with the elementor page builder and they are offering us great customization settings in their theme so we're gonna go to our widgets and we have footer one two three four and those are basically our those parts of the website footer one in here and two in here three and four okay so we're gonna go to footer one and add widget okay we can add uh, anything to our footer area section depending on your website's main purpose so maybe you're offering some kind of service maybe you are a store maybe you are a service provider so every website will have its own needs of widgets and also according to your preferences okay so we have the uh, contact info you can insert that uh, or about me or anything and uh, maybe i will be starting with some custom menu we can add our pages in here and also we have something there and we you can add your mail poet form for example okay uh or even mailchimp subscriber bob up in in there so it's all up to you so for example i'm gonna start with custom menu as a footer widget one and here you can select your menus we have main menu which is our main menu we're using and we can call it pages or menu actually for people to see now and it's starting to show in here so people after they scroll to the bottom of the screen or they can even reach your more pages from here and you can still customizing this one uh, maybe to change its position make it right like that for the right or center i would like to keep it on left side Bedding usually a space so you can add top left right bedding example like that 15 pixels 8 pixels and you can customize the space around it 
and you can change the link color or the hover color or font size it's so customizable okay and you can even add text transform from here like make it capitalize or lower case or maybe capitalize like that and then once you're done with that let's save and publish and then you're gonna go and start on working on the footer too and i think one of the most important widgets in here is the social icons and you can leave it as it is follow us and you can start adding them from here by inserting your links or maybe inserting those for beginning and you can add as many as you would like as you can see let's add another icon for making them symmetric maybe youtube okay and you can start customizing them from uh, up there from here you have the style you can make them colored if you would like or even dark or symbol or light like that or even you can make it like that dark and remember guys we can customize even that color or the footer section as visuals or even the, our typography which is amazing about that uh, theme we're using and then i think this one looks unique and nice and we can start making some transition if you would like maybe like floating so it will be like that when you try clicking on those social icons or even make them rotate or zoom out rotate will be like that or zoom out like that which is basically like shrink in the elementor what do you call it in there <laughs> okay let's i think we will leave it as float and you will be inserting your own links in here with https and removing that hashtag you don't need that one and then you can save and publish and now let's start working on our footer 3 and you can add anything guys i think you can add maybe your mail port form if you are interested into email marketing or uh, something like that and um, by the way i want to talk about the email form you can customize that one why remember when we were working on that guys you can add uh, names and everything i'm going to show you that in a little while now you have subscribed to our newsletter title of that one you can make it anything else you would like and this is the only form you have now you can create new form like that open link new tab I'm gonna show you how to customize that. I, I love the minimal stuff, but you can even add more items to that form if you would like. Then you can add a widget if you would like in the same footer. Actually, this goes for any footer area. You can add many widgets if you would like in the same area. You can add even a Facebook like box if you would like, or Flickr, or Instagram, MailChimp, whatever you would like, okay? So I'm gonna go to footer four. So we're gonna add a widget. In the footer area we can add a custom link which can be downloadable stuff or anything external or internal within your website or even recent posts if you're like a blogger and we have those jetpack widgets and if you don't have the jetpack plugin you're not gonna have these options you can make blog subscription or blog stats or author or you can add audio uh, player for people if you would like to do that or calendar categories or contact info and map this can be provided by your jetpack plugin as well and it could look like that you can add hours and info if you have a store or something like this i can add your phone numbers and email address for a quick contact list and also we will build our contact us page but this one for a quick uh, access if people want to access you in some quick way or even let's add another thing different we can go add at footer 4 and add a widget and let's add our um, maybe Instagram and I'm gonna search for this one and then you can insert your uh, username in here maybe that one and by the way this is our Instagram and I really recommend you visit that one I've been traveling around the world and I was working in aviation industry for a while and I think you're gonna see some interesting and nice artistic photos. Uh, go ahead and check it out. And if you like it, just tell me what you think of that. And you can customize this. This is part of the images in there and some of them for some nice aircrafts and space shuttle if you are interested in aviation. I think you will like that Instagram account, okay? 
and you can customize the number of images to show you can make them 9 or 10 or whatever you would like check new images every 5 hours and you can add even more images I think I'm gonna leave it on 10 and you can choose style 1 or 2 or columns or whatever let's try the style 2 for example two columns for example like that but I think style 4 could be nice as well you know what I'm gonna make it with style 1 and you can display header or no as you can change your button text and button target from here and eventually I will keep it on style 2 <laughs> for a minimal look of our website and that could be matching our website not too crowded then I'm gonna save and publish that and let's go to our footer widget area we have that part to customize our colors or anything we would like we can hide it on some devices if we would like and we have the fixed footer in here we can make it fixed or add height to our footer if we would like page id to highlight some page in here some of our pages later when we create them it's not really recommended but if you would like to do that or stress on some page maybe contact us maybe your shop or anything you can add it and then you have the bedding to add space for your footer in here for that part you can go ahead and try with that if you would like to customize your footer even more and you can customize your background from here select the color and you can choose its color if you would like make it maybe like that or even maybe dark gray to be matching our theme and then we can choose our text color maybe white and this will make this one white as well and then we can control our border colors add these colors and we can customize our links color and even the hover color for these links then we have our footer bottom which is that little part in here maybe copyright for your company or whatever copyright maybe design academy or your company's name designed by Khalil Ibrahim okay and then you can add bedding around that to increase the size in here and you can change also the color and everything for your design okay and you can also insert hex colors if you want to be consistent with your color palette and then we're gonna save and publish and that would be it for our footer section hope you go apply that on your website and see you next lesson bye